The movie starts at the Star Labs research facility, where an attack is underway by a big green villain named the Floronic Man and his accomplice, Pamela, alias Poison Ivy, who is hacking into the system to find some project files. As he is fighting the guards, Floronic is hit with bullets, but his skin regenerates. He asks Pamela to hurry up, lest the police arrive, or even worse, Batman. Finally, Pamela manages to hack and download a highly classified research project by Dr. Alec Holland, called the Biorestorative Project, and they escape. Later, the investigation shows that nothing physical was stolen while Batman and Nightwing look around the crime scene. They then discover that the intruder stole information about a Dr. Holland, whose story is that he was working on a biorestorative formula that turns deserts into forests. However, his research was sabotaged by a bomb and his body was engulfed in the burning compound. He ran to a nearby swamp to cool off, and his body later reacted with the chemicals and he transformed into a large green giant called Swamp Thing. However, the one who recently attacked was the Floronic Man, who just teamed up with Poison Ivy. Batman and Nightwing then plan to find the criminal duo, but they need to ask Poison Ivy's BFF, Harley Quinn, who is rumored to have turned clean and retired from crime since her latest parole release. Batman leaves Nightwing to find her, which is difficult for Nightwing, but Batman says there must be someone who knows something. It's just a matter of shaking the right tree. Later, Batman heads to another research facility, Argus, where he asks Sarge Steele about another recently kidnapped chemistry professor, Harold, specializing in biological warfare. Sarge hands him the classified case files, but there are no exact leads as to who the kidnapper is. Meanwhile, Nightwing is searching for Harley among the locals, some of whom she owes rent money, while another old man remembers only her beauty from a certain deli. While he is peeking into a certain restaurant, he sees a waitress fighting a guy who attempted to touch her, and he figures out that could definitely be Harley. Nightwing later trails her when she leaves work, and Harley hears with her sharp ears and asks him to reveal himself. He asks her to help them find her BFF Ivy, but Harley is done with capes, tights, and masks and is just trying to lead a normal life. When he insists, Harley fights him so that she could finally kick someone after all those months spent in jail. Nightwing defeats her, but Harley had laced her needle ring with some Joker venom, which sends Nightwing laughing on the ground uncontrollably before she kicks him unconscious. Elsewhere, Sarge shows Batman the home of the kidnapped Dr. Harold, but Sarge claims not even his forensic team could find any clue from there. However, Batman isn't your average investigator, since he finds a strange leaf in the room which he claims is from a different dimension, and connects that the Floronic must have been around. Batman immediately calls Nightwing to inform him, but strangely, he doesn't pick up his phone. Sarge asks to send a search team after him, but Batman refuses since he has eyes and ears everywhere and after all, Nightwing can handle himself. Later, Nightwing wakes up tied to a bed at Harley's room while she wonders what to do with him. He mocks Harley's pretense of being good, but she shows him a pile of rejection letters she had sent after her profile of being a supervillain prevents her from getting hired in hospitals as a therapist. While she changes, Harley also mocks Nightwing's transformation from being Robin and the two eventually sleep together. Elsewhere, Poison Ivy is keeping Professor Harold under their control by giving him a poisoned kiss every six hours. Floronic and Ivy complain that humans are destroying the environment and they don't care anymore. Floronic says once their virus is activated, every person on the planet will have a vested interest in going green. Meanwhile, Batman is tracking Nightwing, but he finds Nightwing and Harley yelling and giggling inside her house, and he almost feels disappointed. However, Harley later agrees to help them find Blue Ivy. Batman figures out that Blue Ivy and Floronic are going to convert the formula that created Swamp Thing into a virus that turns humans into animal-plant hybrids, which will supposedly save the world. On the way, Harley shows them a guy she claims was one of Ivy's henchmen, and they run after him. However, she was only Harley's crush who stood her up at senior prom, and she takes revenge with a few slaps before the duo save him. On the road, Batman stops the car and asks Harley to be serious for once, and she asks them to trust her this time. Harley leads them to a joint in Bloodhaven where henchmen hang out. 
There, she meets an old friend of hers, Shrubby, who tells her about Ivy's whereabouts, but right after she performs on stage. Meanwhile, the virus test on a rat fails after it turns green and dies, so the Professor Harold suggests they use the chemical components from the exact swamp, where Swamp Thing first turned in Louisiana. However, they receive unexpected guests. Batman, Harley Quinn, and Nightwing, and Ivy is disappointed to see her best friend Harley working with Batman. They attack Floronic and Ivy, which destroys the place as a fire starts. Floronic quickly grabs the research files and fatally injures Professor Harold, and he leaves with Blue Ivy while the building crashes on the other team. Batman's team, however, survives and gets to the injured Harold, who reveals that the duo is headed to Louisiana, where the correct swamp chemicals are, before he passes away. Outside in the woods, Ivy is sad to have left her friend in the falling house, and she also thinks the plan is walking on a thin rope. Floronic then pulls out a special yam, which they both eat, and they develop green veins. He then takes her hand and they teleport through a green portal in a tree nearby. Batman reveals to Nightwing and Ivy that the authorities are working to capture the criminals while they will be heading to Louisiana very fast. He then brings in the Batplane, but plans to leave Harley behind since he can't trust her. However, Harley pleads to join in since she will help by convincing Ivy to change her mind. Nightwing also convinces Batman and he agrees and they leave in the Batplane. As they arrive at the swamp with some soldiers, Ivy's vines attack the soldiers indicating that the duo are around. While crossing a bridge, Harley throws Batman and Nightwing into the water and they get trapped by the vines. Floronic and Ivy find them, and Ivy is surprised, but Harley claims she had to let the two think she was on their side. However, when Ivy comes closer, Harley tells her to give up her plan and not turn everyone into veggie people, but Ivy claims she is saving the dying world. Well, at least she tried. Harley then blows up the vines with a weed killer before releasing Batman and Nightwing. Ivy begins to punch her while Floronic goes after the men. They exchange blows, but Ivy traps Harley with her vines and goes to finish the virus. Harley continues to plead with Ivy to stop the plan, and when she refuses, Ivy resorts to crying. Ivy warns Harley not to cry, but she goes ahead, and Ivy is finally swayed. Works every time for her. Floronic sees the betrayal and attacks Ivy with a plant. Ivy stops the attack by controlling the plant and ripping it apart, but Floronic just punches her and she falls unconscious. He pushes Harley too and picks up the virus concoction, but before he unleashes it, the forest shakes and giant swamp thing appears out of the swamp. He notifies Floronic that Earth has indeed suffered at the hands of humans, and though his cause is just, his actions have upset the green balance. Floronic apologizes, but Swamp Thing claims he will not condemn him, and he instead returns to nature, where there are infinite splendors worth researching. Floronic is left laughing while the team wonders how to handle him. Harley then notifies the boys that Floronic is actually just a plant with leaves, and asks if anyone has a match. Batman pulls out a matchstick, which he lights up, and the both boys kiss as Harley's blushing cheeks before the film ends. In the post credit scene, Harley is shown with a new career now as a therapist, while also running a television show, Ask Dr. Quinn. Harley also makes her current patient run an obstacle course to win a year of therapy, which she fails. She then tells everyone to be good to themselves, because everyone is out to get you, and she closes her show, bringing the thrilling film to an end. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. I'll be back with another interesting movie recap. Until then, take care.